but I don't know. I don't have passport on that mm. time. I was a little bit illegal uh -huh. staying in Belgium. You no know, pass without passport. Yeah, so, yeah. but the small gloves. I was just shocked, you know. And when when you somebody you are punching your hardest punch, yeah. and he's still coming, you're a little bit you're, in panic. So you're, you're psychologically. Yeah, I was I thinking Japan, my dreams. <laughs> I yeah. was a child, I was looking at It's true, it's true. I see, of course I want to fight. Are you happy with your career? Uh, I will, I'm glad, I'm happy to, to be here, but I'm a kind of person. For me, it's uh, never good. You know, yeah. When you're a good athlete, you're a good uh, in something good. All the bad people, criminal people, all the other, they want to be friends with you. Oh, yeah. You must have always hope in life. You must never give up. You must always try to do more. Sergey Maslaboy! Hello, friends. Today uh, we are in Thailand, in Phuket, and our special guest today is Marat Grigorian, multiple times uh, glory champion, now one championship fighter. And man, I'm really glad to have you here. Yes, of course. Hello, Sergey. For, first time, first time we met uh, with Marat. At my glory debut, uh, it was glory 73, 75, I think. Yeah. I was, I was uh, uh, fighting uh, uh, Bahram Rajibzadeh, and we were in one lo locker room. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. Un, un, unbeatable, yeah? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the unbeatable guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you see, <laughs> there's no, no unbeatable guys. Of course. And, uh, but today it's all about you. And like, let's start from the beginning. Let's uh, tell us how combat sports came to your life. Uh, you know, as a child, I was always watching karate, yeah. Bruce Lee, Jacques-Claude Van Damme, yeah, yeah. that kind of things, movies. And I was always, always dreaming about that, you know, Mike Tyson. Yeah. I was always watching their fights, and uh, I had always a dream to to become one of them. Uh -huh. And uh, I started training. So we moved to Belgium. Sorry, wh wh what age? But, uh, it was I was ten years old when ten I years? started okay. training kickboxing, Thai boxing. In, in in Armenia? No, in Belgium. In Belgium, yeah, you start. I started. Okay. In Belgium. Because actually I was I want to go to Kung Fu, but I was uh, I don't yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could it could look oh cool cool actually before I, I, I was inspired by, by the karate guys with those yeah, kimono the and I don't understand that it's like no it's a show you know yeah, that that yeah. kata you do that you have to learn it's man the it's black belt it isn't about the fighting it's about the kata yeah and we thought you know black belt oh man he's unbeatable like, like a like a like a god bad. level yeah 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 and uh, i was i was going there but they don't accept me i don't know why uh -huh. but that's good <laughs> so uh, the gym was close to our home in mm -hmm. belgium and father told me so i have three sisters you know i'm the smallest the youngest one. Oh, yeah so i was always fighting with them I was fine. I, I wanted to tell maybe you were like the loved one, you know, in the family. Yeah, I loved one, but also, yeah, I was not always a kind one, you know. Yeah. And my father, he tried to send me to Thai boxing. Yeah. On that time, I was just going for the fun, you know, oh. for to make more friends and like that. And after two years of training, uh, I got some news that you can, if you train good, you can make fights. I didn't know that I, I was only just going for to play, yeah. play with the boys, you know, make yeah. fun. And after I, I was seeing my friends, all oh, they got some fights. I said, oh, I want to fight also. Cool. And uh, on that young age, I start to fight. Well, I think my first fight was uh, I was 12 years old. Oh, young boy. Yeah, uh, I won that fight. It was very really good. Ooh. I was really happy. Yeah. And uh, it's like that. It started. Yeah. Just training, training, training. After that. Uh, I was really uh, like uh, long for my uh, age. Uh, yeah, yeah, with, uh, for my, yeah, I was tall for oh. my age, yes. And I was also a little bit heavy. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
I was just winning, winning, winning after the, some loss, just winning, winning, and after I got no more opponents because in Europe, uh, Europe. Yes, uh, you, you fight only with protection. Mm -hmm. If you are under 16, 16 years old, you are uh, yeah. fighting with protection. And uh, on that time, I had no more opponents. So I was a little bit sad, but on my 15 uh, years old, I was, I was fighting in the uh, Netherlands. Mm. They gave me a chance because I was looking big, you know. But in the professionals? Yeah. Oh, in 50 yeah. years old? Yeah, yeah. 15. Yeah, it was oh, like... I'm write it on my book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, my trainer go, go, go and speak. They say, he is ready if you want. Yeah. Make the fight happen. And uh, they give it to me. I was really happy. I won that fight on third round, Technis K.O. So... Uh, uh, the, the other guy, how old he, uh, was he? I think uh, 25, 26. And you was 15? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fucking unbelievable. Yeah. Um, Oh, we died. Can you please op uh, turn on? Hey guys, I'm just taking a moment to say thank you for you to being together with me, for you to helping me to build martial arts community and especially a biggest thank you for those who are supporting my channel on patreon.com. So, thank you very much. Woohoo! Shit happens in Thailand. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> it's normal. It's normal. So you were 15 and the guy was 25. Yeah. It's 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 really unbelievable. Like like a teenager, you can be strong, but you still and you finish KO. Yeah, techni technical KO. Te they stop the okay. referee, they, stop the fight. And they always told me. Uh, it's not your age, you are lying about your age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, no, why I should lie about my age, you know, I was a little bit tough. And on my 16 years old, uh, so the age doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. Our gym was uh, organizing some fights, some yeah. events. So I'm going to fight also there. Uh, I was 16 years old, just got uh, my birthday. And uh, yes, uh, I had some fight. On that day, you must you must uh, check your weight, yeah. and you must fight uh, on the day, on the yeah. same day. Oh, the same day. Even. Yeah, on the same day. It's okay. not pro pro professional. It's semi pro. Like. Okay. And uh, but without protection, without protection. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was 16 years old, and it did, that man was 31 or 32. Mm -hmm. I have also the videos of, of that fight. It's a little bit funny. It uh, would be interesting to to see actually. Yeah, yeah. My first fight was like, <laughs> like a swimmer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. No, the time it was good. Uh -huh. It was a beautiful girl. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, I was a little bit surprised about the age. Mm -hmm. You know, I was 16 years old. He was 31 or 32 years mm -hmm. old. Two times older than yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I was a little bit thinking, but uh, yeah, my friends, they motivate me. My trainer, they say, you, you got this, you know, you have, you have, you have talent in you, mm -hmm. so you can, you can do it. And on that, uh, on that fight, on the first round, uh, I was just fighting, you know, middle kicks, high kicks, uh, yeah. punching. And on, the, on one moment, I was, I give to him uh, like low kick and yeah. he blocked, he blocked the low kick. Yeah. And I, uh, I got some injury on my, on my shin. Mm -hmm. But after that, I finished the fight because uh, I knocked him down. Yeah. But uh, the age is very important, you know. My bones were not so strong at that For time. Sure. Uh, after that, yeah, uh, I went to semi-pro. Mm -hmm. I just got one one fight and I got to, to semi-pro like big class. Mm -hmm. In uh, I think in uh, one year, in one year, I did 18 fights. Almost as Eight. I. 18. 18 yeah. fights. I had one year, I had 17 fights with yeah. amateurs and pros and... No, only pro. Only pro? Yeah, only pro. I had with amateurs 17 fights. It was I like did, unbelievable, but... I did uh, seven fights in six weeks. Two tournaments and one uh, super fight. Man, you were hungry. Yeah, on the time I was hungry. So what happened? I won 
all the tournament in one one uh, it was one big tournament yeah it was from uh, the it was an organization from melvin manuf oh okay so all the netherlands Net netherlands guys they were all inside i was mm -hmm. 16 years old i was fucking hungry yeah, yeah. for my language no no it's it's okay it's a podcast not another uh, okay. tv show uh, okay uh, I was really hungry, you know, but uh, I had very injuries, you know. Many I was fighting injuries. with against the top guys. Yeah, yeah. And I was just fighting without no know, without knowing them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that was one of the one of the, the keys. The keys, yeah, of your victory. You know, when yeah. you are not thinking about that, yeah. and you are not blocking, or you are not scared, or you, yeah, you, know, yeah. you don't you don't you don't care about that. So yeah, I won that seven fights in six weeks. I was really yeah, out, smashed, yeah. out. <laughs> so what happened? Uh, I got a, a contract with each Showtime. I was each Showtime. I remember the organization. Yeah, yeah, After really K1 uh, got yeah. ba bankrupt, then each Showtime, each I think, showtime, uh, yeah, it started. Really, it was really very popular in yeah, Netherlands, yeah. Belgium. I don't know. In I think in all around the world. Yeah. So I was 16 or 17. I got to uh, A class, bro. The professional yeah, powerful but uh, i was not training very well on that time you know i was training but yeah. i had always good condition you know that okay. was all always one of my best keys mm -hmm. to i get i get no tired i can punch it like uh, many times but I, I don't get tired on that time you know you're okay. hung, young hungry yeah 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 i know i know i know, I know. Uh, yeah I was 17 or 16 years old already, end of the 16 or 17, yeah. I got contract with each showtime. But on that time, uh, I don't have passport, mm. so the contract was for five years. Okay. So they, they, so, uh, they gave me a chance to fight in Amsterdam Arena, it was very big, yeah. very, very big. I remember that the shows was it really was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. On my first fight in Amsterdam Arena, you know, you come with, you come up with, it was with some elevator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, they they did a show like like in Japan. Yeah, like really crazy. Yeah, you know, I was coming up with an elevator, you know, and I was looking, uh, like in front of me, yeah. I see on on the big TVs, myself. Yeah, you know, my, my yeah. knees were wibbling. Yeah, it was the first time like uh, over. To, how much people? 20, more than 20,000. Yeah, people. a lot of people there. Yeah. I won that fight also, but after they told me uh, we must to go to international. But I don't know, I don't have passport on that mm -hmm. time. I was a little bit illegal uh -huh. staying in Belgium, no pass without passport. Yeah, yeah. So I lost some uh, important years. I got only uh, close fights nearly to Netherlands, Germany, France. Yeah. Italy, we were we were always going with the cars. Yes, we're only driving, you know. But yeah, yeah. driving is always difficult. It makes you it's tired. Yeah, tired, yeah. Tired. I know. I, I I've been there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know that. I think I was 17 or 18 years old. I got some uh, fight for the title for each short belt, mm. 73 kilos. But you only do. How? 73 kilos. 73 kilos. 73 kilos, it was new division. Yeah. And uh, I was the youngest guy in the organization, mm -hmm. you know, I was the upcoming guy. They give me with uh, some superstar, you know, Johan Lido. We have so many fights, okay. so many experience. Yeah, I was just hungry. And uh, the training on that time was also not so professional. So what happened? Uh, I think in the third round, uh, he I get eight eight counts. Okay. I get eight eight counts, but Turn I down. stand yeah, but I stand up yeah. and I fight the whole fight five rounds. Yeah. When you're looking that fight with points, I won that fight. Yeah. But it was a little bit his manager organization also. Yeah, I know. So they I give know it, how it is. So they give it also. Mm -hmm. They give it to okay. him. And on the day, well, uh, but Harry, Harry was also fighting against some uh, French guy he won. Mm -hmm. It was really weird, you know, to fight uh, with your heroes, you know. Yeah, yeah, Before yeah. on that time, I was just looking to them, you know, 
just uh, and how did you feel when you when you went to the to the arena when you know that you're on the same card as your heroes at that time actually yeah. i can tell you uh, look in front uh, of, of you but and, and tell how i felt when first time i fought and fuck when it was in the same locker room with semi shield like uh, jerome lebanet those guys and those the organizers came and say, Sergey, you're next. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just, I almost fall because I, yeah, yeah. I couldn't walk. You know, my field, uh, my legs was wobbling, and I don't didn't understand wh where I am. Yeah. Uh, I was just praying in myself. God help me. God give me power. God yeah. help me. God give me power. But I was really surprised. You know. Uh, I was one of the youngest guys, upcoming guys, and uh, I was already fighting on the same card with Padre yeah, and all the super superstars. It was a little bit, yeah. Uh, I was really happy, very glad to be there, to fight there. Uh, so what happened on that fight, I lost the fight with points. So after that, my contract was for five years. So like four years, I didn't fight. Like I fight like once in a, in a year, year time. Once in a year time. Uh, yeah. After that, after that, I changed my uh, my club, mm -hmm. my gym. I went to the Hammer Gym. Mm -hmm. I was on that time out of my contract. And uh, yeah, in one year I I fight again against everybody, you know. Uh -huh. All I fight all, uh, against all the Asia guys. All the European guys okay. in China, in Kunlun fights. Kunlun fights. Kunlun fights. Yeah, remember. Fight. Yeah, I, I even in Kunlun, I think you, you fought even uh, Yotzin Klai. Yotzin Klai. Yeah. It was Yotzin a Klai. fucking great fight. It was a great fight, yeah. But uh, I lost that fight. But, but, but man, you, you, uh, you, you showed so, such a big war in there. It was like every second you were like, whoa, what's going to happen, you know? Yeah, uh, I think they put something in my in my meat, in my in my food. Uh, on it felt time. bad. Yeah. Uh, because on that when we was and when I when I was arrived there, oh, yeah. they were very friendly, you know, to take me some some out some dinner, to give me drinks, to give me food. I was a little bit surprised. Uh huh. Uh, and on that evening, the next day, um, you, in the morning, you must to cut weight, you know. Yeah, you cut weight. Be on seventy kilo. Yeah. And on that evening night, I was so bad. I was uh, pulling everything w out. Vomiting, yeah. Uh, I have some pictures. I have some videos of, of me yeah. before the fight. I was just sleeping in my locker room. And my trainer Nick Hammers, he told me, "What happened with you?" Uh, he, it was also a little bit new for him because I uh -huh. just moved to him into his gym. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was really on bad, bad, bad situation all the time. But uh, I, I lost with points. Yeah, yeah. That's very important. Uh, I was just thinking, I just need to, to knock him down in the first round. Otherwise, I will yeah, lose yeah, 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 because yeah. I don't feel my the power. Condition, on the yeah, yeah. yeah. But I lost uh, points. And after that, uh, I got some other fights for the title in mm -hmm. Belgium. I won that in the first round knockout. I don't know which, which belt it is. We have many one. Uh, I else? have many one, but uh, I don't count it. Yeah. I just count the real owners, you know, Glory, Kevan, Kunlun. Yeah. And, the, and the names, and the names are important. Yeah, of course, of course. I beat yeah. really on the top guys uh, on this division, yeah. you know. Okay, so let's 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 come come back better. Let's co come back and talk about about you, uh, about your childhood. Childhood. W yeah. What kind of kid you were, like in child, you in your childhood, in your, like a teenager. You know, when I was a ch child, uh, like I was three years old, we moved to Germany first. Uh -huh. We lived there oh, two years. Then after we, we got back to Armenia, mm -hmm. I was like seven years old. Uh, it was really, really bad. Uh, I was with children, a little bit uh, too much playing with bad things, you know, stealing, I don't know. <laughs> No, it's not. It's, Fighting. it's normal. It's, that, it's, that it's kind life. Of things, uh, you know? That's I, life. I went through the same thing. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that I think that made me who I am today. Now I know yeah. what is good and what is bad yeah. because I did that yeah. when I was a child. 
Yeah, you know, we had a good life in, in Germany and after that everything changed, like totally different. Uh, the police, they catch us, they, they send us back, you know, yeah. to Armenia back. So on that time it was really bad. Everything changed, you know, from I, I, was, I was one of the best clever kids in Germany. Mm -hmm. I went to, to, to Armenia and uh, the, the teachers, they, if you are not uh, good on, yeah. on something, yeah. they punch you. Oh, you know, yeah. they, they punch you. It's normal. Physi like phys they, physically. Yeah, yeah. They're already, already taking your air, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit normal in our... Uh, in your culture, it's, culture it's, it's a little bit normal, you know. Like, come on. Don't do it like that. You must Man, yeah, I, I just filmed the psychopath, went to the gym and he punched those kids with the tatami. I like it. It's it's normal I here, like it. yeah, yeah. It's it's just you know how, how it is. But if you show it uh, now in in Germany or or in Lithuania, it would be like, man, uh, the like kid rights will, will yeah. just come there yeah. and they yeah. take the kids and yeah. you you got fined and maybe in jail. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But yeah. uh, I don't like it anymore. You know, that's why all the new generation they are very soft. Yeah. They're the soft skin. If you are saying something uh, bad, yeah. you're gonna cry and they're gonna be in depression. Yeah, yeah, no, depression. Uh, of course, you there, there was no depression at that no, time. You no. just get your ass kicked and you said, Finish. Fuck, Next how day, can, how, how, I can how, yeah, how can I give, give them back? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was really surprised, you know, from good place to my teacher is punching me and kicking me like a, I was really shocked, you know. Uh -huh. What happened on the time I, I, I don't go two weeks don't I don't go to school okay but I was acting like I go to school yeah so yeah I, I know I know that I went there too <laughs> <laughs> my teacher called to my mother they say uh, yeah. is something something, something happened wrong with your yeah. son uh, son my mother said no because uh, he's already not coming already two weeks to, to school he oh. said oh he's already all, always every day going to school on the time yeah yeah and he's yeah, coming yeah. back on time yeah he said no he, already two weeks he don't come to school yeah. <laughs> then uh, my mother catch me, they say, what happened, my father, yeah, yeah. They, you know, they kicked me a little bit, they say, what happened, yeah, why yeah. are you not going, they say, no, you are too strong to me, they punch me, they kick me. <laughs> oh, man. That's why when I came back to home, I was sitting near the phone. <laughs> to be the first one, oh, no, no, mama's not home. <laughs> Uh, so I was just talking with my father. They they go and speak with the teacher. Yeah, yeah. A little bit, uh, he must to accept because I was not speaking very well Armenian all that time. Uh -huh. So writing and then he must to learn also Russian. It was everything new on the new, same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and yeah, after came. that, yeah, I start to learning Eng Russian, Armenian. I start to write. And what happened? We moved to Belgium. Hmm. The same story in Belgium. <laughs> again. Again, I was nine, nine years old. Again to school, again other, other, other languages. But I was nine years old, I know already four languages. Can you imagine that? That was, it's good. Unbelievable. Yeah, like Armenian, German, Russian, yeah. and Dutch. Dutch. Netherlands. Uh, yeah, so it was, it was a little bit hard, you know, to find friends. Because you are always alone. You are always yeah. on, on the... Uh, yeah, moving, moving around, you know. It's only bad you are losing your some friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, like this it happened. Cool, cool, yeah. cool story. And how do you think? Um, <clears throat> what made you become an athlete? What, what made, made you to become an athlete? Uh, the, the, you know, did you want it to be strong? Did you want it to be accepted? Or you just wanted to have some new friends? So, and um, why get into this, you know, so seriously? Uh, you know, when I was a child, I was always dreaming about to, get, to be a hero. But I don't yeah. know why, I was always dreaming to, to be a hero. And uh, I was just fighting. Yeah, for, many, for, many, for many boys, I think you are. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> And uh, I was just looking to the movies, you know. I, oh, I want to be a fighter. I want to be a hero. I want to yeah. to be someone that people are looking to me and uh, that I can show something good, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't know. I think uh, it's also a little bit your lifestyle, from where you come from. 
the bad days, there are some bad days that uh, I, I don't have some food on to eat, you know, just some hot tea, yeah. with a little bit bread, and that's it, you know. Uh, that's what makes me a little bit change to and to look to appreciate everything on this life, you know. Mm. Because uh, now that we are living, it's because of a little bit of hard work, you know. Now I'm seeing there are many people that are just uh, that like they want to get it, but they don't want to work. Yeah, yeah. They don't want they don't want to work their ass, ass off, you know. They are, they are saying you are always on on there on there, man. I'm just no, every, no. every day. But I get kicked on my yeah. face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're working for it. Yeah, but they don't. They forgot. I'm training already 20 years. Yeah. 20 years. Uh, I was 22 years, 20, 23 years. Uh, you know, as a man, as a teenager, you know. On that time, uh, I was really uh, confused about the sport. Yeah. I was. My father was saying to me, "Listen, Marat, you are already training like 13 years." Uh, doing this sport, okay, it's good. Yeah. But do you get some money of it? I say no, father. You know, uh, and uh, it was really weird. You know, uh, I was. I start to think, okay, if I gonna stop now, uh, what I must to do? I don't. I don't want to go to mo to work and yeah. that's it. You know. I want challenges in my life. I had no money, you know, as a teenager. I want to have a car, you know. Yeah. I want to have a girlfriend, you eat your restaurant, something yeah. like that, you know. Live normal life. Normal life. But after, uh, you know, I had something in me that I don't want to live like this. Uh, I had always hope to, to, to get there. Mm -hmm. And when I start to uh, train with Nick Hammers, you know, yeah. All my fights was against the top guys, you know. Really against the top guys. I, and as much are, as I remember you, I, I saw you only with the, with top, the top, top guys. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, I was never saying no. I don't want to fight. Yeah. I never choose my opponents. Never. They called me in China. I was very. Really, I'm very famous in China. In Japan, I'm very famous. Uh, they invited me on the K1 Max tournament 2015. It's a dream, Kevin course, Max. Man, man, Kevin Max, it was like the highest uh, as of you can the, get, yeah. Uh, I, I just Olympus. Got, got a call, you know, do you want to fight against it for the tournament? I said, what? <laughs> I can't believe that he made so much. Yeah, yeah. They say yes, so, uh, they say yes, Kevin Max tournament in Japan. In Japan. I was thinking, Japan, my dreams. Yeah. I was a child, I was looking, it's Kevin. It's true, it's true. I said, of course I want to fight. Yeah. Without, uh, that, I don't care. Yeah, 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 you don't think about uh, nothing. They say, okay, it's uh, on 5 June or 5 June. I say, okay, I'm fighting that fight, that yeah. tournament. But I also got some uh, invasion, uh, some call from a Top King tournament uh -huh. on that time. Okay. And uh, Boaka was also inside. Okay. So what happened, I was in everything, I was fighting Muay Thai, Muay Thai, also kickboxing. kickboxing. So what happened, I fought uh, in Hong Kong. I was, no, I was first of all fighting in, uh, in France mm -hmm. for the Top King organization for Muay Thai. Okay. I passed, uh, I passed it, I was inside, inside the tournament. The second time, I was fighting against the Iranian guy. It was a really strong guy mm -hmm. for Muay Thai rules. I beat him. I won with points, but that was really a good fight. If mm -hmm. you have the time, you can watch Check the fight. Out. And after that, uh, I got the call from the K1 Max. I say, of course I want to do it. Yeah. And on that time, I didn't know when, I, when, the, when the tournament will end of the Muay Thai top mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. I just accept everything, you know, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Muay Thai, K1 Max, just everything around. I know what it's talking yeah. about. Yeah. And what happened? Uh, I moved to Japan. Yeah. Japan. <laughs> I only see, I can't believe it in my eyes, you know, yeah, it's yeah. like uh, in the movies. The people are very kind, very respectful. Respectful, yeah. Everything, very disciplined, very, yeah, straight. 
uh, I thought it was eight man tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, one more thing, the Japanese people, they are really strong. Well, they're they men 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 mentally strong. They, are they mentally don't strong. give up. <laughs> yeah, 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 they are like that. Man, the only, uh, uh, how, how you say, uh, kamikaze. Da, uh, uh, Man. Yeah. They don't you, give up. They don't give up. They come, they come. I was in shock, you know. Yeah. The first fight that was against the Japanese guy, okay. Uh, you know, I was punching and they gave me gloves like it was six, six O's. Oh man. My hands, I was Hurt. thinking. Yeah. And it was not really gloves, you know. I know, like, 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 like <laughs> winter gloves, you know. Yeah, really, 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 really bad gloves, you yeah. know. And uh, I was just fighting on that first fight, you know, duck, duck, uh, fighting, kicking, everything. Yeah, yeah. And on that time, I was just listening to my coach, you know. Yeah. We had a good connection on that time. Mm -hmm. I was trying to, to listen to what he said, said, telling me. On the second round, uh, it was really weird when you see this, when you see the video. He was yeah. he's telling tell, telling me to like give a left high kick. And yeah. what happened? I give him left high kick, and it was on on his face. He fell down. And it was TKO, oh, like stop. You know, oh, shit, sure, like good. Yeah, it was really, if you understand Great. what he's saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I do it, it's really, yeah, surprising. So there, is a, there is always, you, you can be the best fighter in the world, but from the side, it's always better to see. To see, the, yeah. of, co of course, then where, where is the, where you can uh, get. Where, the, where the gaps are. Yeah. Where. And on the second fight, it was uh, against also one of the favorite guys from uh -huh. there. He was also Southpaw. Uh -huh. I don't know. On the first fight, I already uh, hurt my uh, hands. Hands. And on the second fight, you know, I had pain. I had a lot of pain, but I was just thinking about Kevin Max. You know, yeah, yeah, to be the champion. Yeah, you are here, like you're like living a dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must to make it happen. I just was praying, praying, praying in, inside. So what happened? I think it was, I don't know, first round or the second round, just also. I finished him, I was just kicking me, him on, on his face. Yeah. He don't feel down. Don't fall he down. He just keep, keep going. Yeah. But the smart gloves, I was just shocked, you know. And when, when you somebody, you are punching your hardest punch, yeah. and he's still coming, you're a little bit you, in panic. You, you, you are psychologically, I had the, the fight uh, not so long ago with uh, Georgian guy. Yeah. So many punches, so many kicks. He, he doesn't fall. So many knees to the face. Yeah. He's like, like he's bleeding all over, and he's still standing. You know, and what the fuck do I need back. to do, man? Give, give me some hammer, you know, yeah. to yeah. hit him. Yeah. And after after the fight, he told me that he has a bro he broken skull, yeah. Yeah. but he still didn't, didn't didn't fall down. Man, what, yeah. what the yeah. fuck is wrong with him? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And on that second. Fight. It was second round. I think yeah. I finished it with liver, you know. Yeah. But some liver. Liver shot. Uh, my trainer was saying, uh, if he don't go, he's down with his, with his head. Yeah. Then take the body, Maybe take body. the legs, take the like. Uh, yeah. Use everything. So I did it. I got in the finals. Beautiful. It was, uh, it was against uh, some guy of the Mike Gym. Mm. Also some spectacular fighter. Everywhere I had some two broken hands. Okay. Two broken hands, like here, that was really big. So, yeah. They want to. Like you literally broke the bones? Yeah, yeah, yeah like here, it was it was really big, this one. Oh. It was good. good. They, they put it all already inside. Yeah. Uh, on that time, you know, you must change your gloves. Mm -hmm. I say, they want to change the gloves. You know, it's hurting so bad. I said, I'm not going to change my gloves. No, man. I'm going to keep it inside. Amen. Because it's too tight. Yeah. And when I'm doing out and put inside, it's really hurting yeah, my yeah, stomach, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Better to stay like this and finish the fight. Yeah. And uh, on, it was the final. You know, big uh, sounds, big uh, TV screen, you know? Yeah. Final. It was a dangerous guy with his knees, something like that. Uh, yeah, I won the fight. It was, oh, the first round KO again. Wonderful, wonderful. 
Wonderful blend. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. So yeah, it was KO. And uh, I was just, I won the K1 tournament of 2015. So how did you feel then? Oh man, it feels great. It feels great. I remember when they, they put my hand up at Glory. With you the don't belt. believe it. I, I start just to crying. Man, I was, I was I was so for, for so many years, I was just dreaming about it, but I said, nah, it yeah, won't happen. Yeah. But but maybe, nah. <laughs> and now I'm here and whoa! <laughs> it's like this, yeah. yeah. You can't believe it, you can't imagine it. And on that moment, yeah, everything goes so fast and I want to enjoy that moment more longer yeah 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 everything yeah. goes so fast you're your champion photos pictures and move move go <laughs> no, yeah yeah go away <laughs> no i want to enjoy <laughs> yeah 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 let me stay a little yeah. bit <laughs> <laughs> and it was crazy man it was crazy after the fight after the tournament they come they cut the, uh, yeah. the gloves, gloves out i was really painful but after that i didn't sleep for night and on that next day it was only all, all, all day, like cameras in front of me, just yeah. speaking, speaking, interviews, interviews, interviews. On that time, I was so tired, I was just speaking on that mm. time. I don't know what I was, I was telling, yeah, or yeah, I, yeah. I, I was saying, I was just speaking. Automatically. I was so tired, yeah. Automatically, I know. Yeah. But uh, the, the, the worst thing, I think, when they this, uh, take interview just after the fight, yeah, and yeah. you're like full of the adrenaline and you say some stupid things, so much stupid so, things. Yeah, the yeah. Next day you see the interview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't yeah. me, man. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was fucking uh, like a guy on drugs. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> yeah. they must give us a little bit of time, you know, for to <laughs> come back about our... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, listen, you're now, now uh, you're 31 years old. 31 years old. 31 years old. And your road... In your career was really glorious. A lot of big yeah. names, a lot, yeah. uh, a lot of everything. Uh, how do you uh, see entire your career, and uh, how much points do you give, you know, from 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 ten about your career? Uh, Are you happy with your career? Uh, I'm well. I'm glad. I'm happy to to be here. But I'm a kind of person. For me, it's uh, never good. You know, I'm training me like crazy, but it's never never enough. Perfectionist. Never enough. Yeah. Yes. I'm kind of the, like that. You know, and I'm every day working on my on my on my skills for to make everything better and better. You know, uh, I was really in good shape. I was protecting my titles in glory and uh, Corona come many friends i lost many training partners many uh, friends they stopped or they, mm. they moved too much weight up you know they don't yeah, come yeah. anymore like it was like i was a little bit on my prime time a little bit then i stopped same, same. i got a little bit down and i'm not now again coming up you know but this new organization is very very difficult for me because of the hydration test mm -hmm. hydration test you like uh, my my weight was to be little, really down yeah, yeah, yeah. before the fight they come and check and you and with the years with years it's it's getting harder and harder, harder to and make harder, make, yeah. make weights it's same 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 thing so it's uh, for really me it's a big problem you know before but, before uh, i made weight uh, like one week one week before the fight yeah. like and I, I was 92 i was yeah. 92 and a half and it was no problem for me now to make 95 yeah yeah it's a real, real big really, deal yeah and on that, yeah, I start to feeling everything. But now I'm trying to do more best how I can. If I'm healthy, I'm gonna keep going. But I, when I feel I can't handle it anymore, I will yeah. stop. But uh, my goal is now to be on, uh, to take that belt. Uh, don't you see yourself uh, in the higher weight class? Uh, you know, I just love this weight class, you know? It's I know how you feel, you feel comfortable in it. But you know, with like with years, when the weight is going up and it's uh, exhausting and you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's making you tired and, and physically and mentally and maybe yeah. it's 
time to think about the yeah, yeah, yeah. different Some people uh, already asking me about that. Yeah. But uh, this this league where I am now is so beautiful. But I want to beat everyone. Man, I want to. They have the best of the best yeah, right now. That's why I want to beat them to take the belt, and after I will see what will happen. Okay, then tell me please, what is the, uh, on your opinion, what is the recipe of a perfect fighter? Uh, what are the ingredients? What a uh, perfect fighter have to have? Never giving up. Always keep going. Had a bad days. You are broken, you are, uh, you are feeling nothing. Never give up. You, have, you must have always a dream. You, have a, you must have a vision where you want to go. You must see the light in the darkness because nobody believes in you until you do, you, you do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. So you must work your ass off for that. That's it. If you want to go there, work your ass off. It's like uh, they say that uh, uh, that spot on, on, on the top it's of the mountain, lonely. it's very lonely. It's very lonely. Very long. And you that's you, what you I, can uh, see the Instagram. It looks like have a lot of friends, have a no, uh, big, not big friends. pack. But yeah, it's but you're lonely, man. You do. You are doing every day, every day the same thing. You are running 10, 10 kilometers. You are training two, two, two hours. You are coming to the gym. Nobody see it. They yeah. only see your success. What are you doing? What are you living? Yeah. Oh, you're in Thailand. You have good life, huh? Yeah, yeah. Friend, yeah, yeah. how comes I have good life? I have injuries. Yeah, yeah. I need pain, love. Pain, pain. I, I'm yeah, also yeah. human, you know. Are you have, do you have a family? Uh, no, I'm not married. Not I'm funny. single. Uh, it's Girls? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a little bit uh, hard to find the right one who can push you more, you know. Uh, yeah, the, the, the woman have to be like a, like a motivator, like a motor, you know, for you. Uh, that's like, you'll get, 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 like a good fuel. Yeah, Not the drain, drain you, but the, uh, f uh, fill you up. That's what I had before. Uh, I had uh, some relationship and uh, she, she was eating just all of my energy out. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So you know, now you're on like a hunting st uh, stage. <laughs> uh, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I hope to find one day good girl, you know. Listen, uh, you have a lot of victories and a lot of big names uh, in your list, on your list. Uh, which victory is most like precious to you, and what that that you remember and you like expire uh, to talk about it? Uh, which fight? Yeah. Yeah, fight or the name? Uh, you look. Uh... I fought against Superbon in the China. I was yeah. in the final. Yeah. They were speaking very bad about me. Really bad. You know, I have no chance, this and that. Like so uh, what happened? The team, Superbon's team? Superbon's team and other, other, other guys. They, oh, they, really? They is very, also famous in, uh, in uh, China, China. Uh -huh. in Thailand. You know, it was, yeah. And I was also speaking big. Mm. Uh, I was in the final with him. So what happened? I knocked him down, you know. Yeah, like sorry. 28 seconds. You know, I was just that moment waiting, you know. And I was just punching, punching, punching like a, I was a little bit out of my mind. Yeah, yeah. Angry, aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Angry, but controlled angry, not yeah. angry because when you're angry in a fight, it's, dif it's, it's different. It's yeah, bad. It's, it's bad, bad for you, for you. Yeah. Uh, controlled, yes, angry. My trainer told me, uh, you must press him. Keep, keep, keep the distance close because he he gonna kick you kick and you front kick time. you again. So what happened on the on the last fight? I was really really in good shape, but my body was overtrained. I didn't sleep well. I did not eat. Uh, overtrained. My body was not working. Mm -hmm. So you can be trained very good. You can be prepared very good. When it's not your day, your body is not working. So yeah. we, we, we watch we watch live your uh, fight. Yeah. We was like cheering uh, for you. I was uh, that day. I was uh, in uh, Poland in Warsaw. Yeah, I yeah, was training uh, with Arik Josek, yeah. and it was like we were training, training, training. I said, "It's time, man! It's yeah. time! Uh, Marat is going." <laughs> like yeah. when we sit, you know, sweat is <laughs> dropping on the phone, and we're like looking at, yeah, yeah. like we, what we didn't understood, man. It yeah. was not. It wasn't you. Yeah. I, I I know your your style, and it was like, like somebody like you know. Put a chain on you and just yeah. hold you because yeah. you, you're always going forward just 
take the punch and give you like three yeah, yeah. uh, punches was, back. My body was not working. I don't know, many things. So my Chinese fans that are saying because of the COVID, I don't know, yeah. man, I don't know. You, 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 you had COVID? Yes, I had COVID, yeah. Uh, I, was, I was in the final of the, the tournament, so what happened, uh, I must to fight against Chinggis Alazov. Yeah. Five days before the, I must to go to the China for the final, uh, to Singapore, sorry. I did a test, you need, on the time you need a test. Yeah. I was positive. So oh, what man. happened, uh, I didn't go to the semi-final. Uh, you know, in Singapore it's very really strict, you know. Yeah, yeah, if yeah, you are sure. that positive, they hold you like two weeks in a, in a small room. Yeah, yeah, you must yeah. stay alone, you can't go outside. So I was thinking, uh, if I go there, there is more worse, you know, to stay. Yeah. So, uh, just I, yeah. Uh, okay, let's 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 uh, pass pass this through. Let's talk about <clears throat> about about fun things. Yeah. Man, you're a you're a knockout machine. Uh, you had a lot of uh, made a lot of knockouts in your career, and which knockout is your best? Like that you're proud of? Proud of it was one of the America in America, Los Angeles, I think. Yeah. But I, but a right high kick, left hook, right high kick. Uh -huh. It was, it did, the, the knockout was got worldwide, you know, uh -huh. really worldwide. Oh man. Uh, I got very famous on that fight, it was some glory on that time. Yes, that was one of the craziest fights. We'll watch this fight and we'll yeah. show you on, on, on the screen that, that moment. Um, what does it make you feel when you knock out people? Because man, each each fight when, when you go out, you never think that oh, Marat gonna you know win by points. Usually, usually you yeah. you win by 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 KO. Uh, yeah. So you're motivated uh, to do the KOs. What, how does it feel to you to, to knock down people? Uh, no, I'm just uh, I'm thinking like uh, almost to hurt him three rounds or five rounds. The cow comes by by itself, you know. I'm not never thinking like I'm gonna cover him, but. I'm trying to hurt him really badly, yeah. you know. Five rounds doesn't matter. He will always remember me yeah, how yeah, I yeah. hurt him, you know. You know, on the fight, when you're fighting, everything looks uh, not so difficult. Yeah, everything yeah. looks easy. But when you're a front or in a fight, like your head is not moving. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, it's difficult to do it, you know. Yeah, it's because some people, you know, think of like, like a joystick, like a you know, controller, just. Yeah. Just moving, no, punching, you, you get kicked, he, you kick, like, no, it, no, nothing, yeah. but... But they don't know. Yeah, the you impact of, of a kick, of a punch, what happened, what, what is the damage in your head? Yeah. How you can get hit harder, you know, that's the mindset that you must have. It. Yeah. And what is the main, the ultimate goal in your career? What do you think? Uh, always stay humble. Why you know on the now on the on, now uh, just believe believe in God just pray every day that you don't lose your focus you know know where are you going and just keep working on that just don't, don't think about a hundred things you know ten ten things just keep focusing on one thing do it good and after move to another one I'm just thinking like that uh, yeah. Okay, and uh, now a, a philosophical, uh, philosophical question. How do you think, if not a fighter, who Marat Grigorian would be in his life? Uh, I don't know. A math teacher. <laughs> 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 a language teacher. <laughs> For language. <laughs> uh, I will be some criminal, I don't know. Criminal, I think? I don't know, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you, you t tell me the the martial arts help you help you to get the power and the knowledge to control the power and to start to do good things and get all the benefits as you can get as a bad guy as a criminal by doing the good things yeah. in your life. You can get respect, you can get money, you can have big fame, have, have ladies, you, have, you can get everything by doing 
your sport and after you know when you like in your free time you can with your name you can do like a lot of uh, social things help other people and get even more benefits yeah. you spend the same amount of energy on doing on developing something yourself and, and something good yeah. and get even more benefits yeah. from it than you like doing bad things so martial art is for everyone so try to do it Let's yeah do it. try to do it for sure like uh, f for me it was the same thing because i was also. i was always uh, going uh, after some someone that I, I was working, looking for, yeah. for, for a leader in my life yeah, yeah. because I had some traumas in my childhood, yeah. but I was looking for a leader all the time. But only started to do martial arts and then I understood that, man, I can be that leader. I can, yeah. I can go exactly. forward yeah, and, and bring people with me. Yeah, you know, yeah. when you're a good athlete, you're a good, uh, in something good, all the bad people, criminal people, all the other, they want to be friends with you. you yeah, know? yeah, you are, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, all the people want to to know you. Yeah. Want to do something good for like you. Sw swim in your in your in your fame a little bit. <laughs> yeah, 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 to 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 try to try know you out. better to have you in their side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have uh, yeah. Just do martial arts, man. Yeah. Just do martial arts, and you know what we mean. <laughs> what what life? What kind of life we live? Yeah. Um, we meet in Thailand right now, and um, what does it mean? for you to be in this place like why do you choose Thailand for training it's not the first time you're here no actually from already eight years here I just love Thailand you know you don't need to hear a lot of things uh, it's very simple you just need a short slippers man that, that's the same a thing bike. I like three 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 days uh, in a row I, I'm telling to other people I like the simplicity of salad you wake up Put on the shorts, jump in the slippers, and you're ready to go. Finish. Only only a few butts you need. Yeah, <laughs> only a few yeah. butts in your pocket, and that's it. Finish. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah, it's very easy to live here. You know, when you're a fighter, when, when I'm when, when I'm home, you know, I'm thinking too 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 much things. You know, too much problems. Yeah. Automatically, I don't know why. Same, same. Like depression. Yeah. And the weather is very bad. You know, here is the weather good. You know, same, same. for a sportsman, it's very good to have a good weather. When it's good weather, I want to go run. I want to go train. I want to do something, something uh, activity, you know. Yeah. When it's bad weather, I just want to move. I don't want to go out. I just yeah. go for two. I must. I'm just disciplined to go. Yeah. And I go because I I must to go. Yeah. But here, I just go because you want to. I I just love it to, to do. Yeah. It, you know? Wonderful, wonderful. The same thing, and and when you can. When, can you, when you're leaving your, all the problems at home and you come here yeah. and you just, you know, yeah. of, of course, there is a phone. There is a yeah. fucking phone and they, they're always ring, <laughs> ring yeah. because you know that they, don't, they know that soon you're going to come back. Yeah. But when you come here for three months or more, in a in few weeks, they're forgetting you and you're like, whoa. <laughs> you're like free. I mean, they never yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Full yeah, of yeah, energy. Yeah. You know, uh, I know... Uh, there are no limits uh, for improvement, but what, what else uh, do you like to improve in your fight game? Uh, you know, uh, everything. My kicks, punching, everything came better. I don't you know. need to come to me. Everything, <laughs> everything, I'm a teacher. Everything, everything I'm a teacher. I like to share. Better, you know? I'm I'm very good on my boxing, but uh, everything is better, you know. I'm just watching a lot of things. I just try to learn everything, you know. Yeah. Every but day is a learning day, you know. Every day is learning day. Yeah. You you one of those uh, uh, like how to say like uh, guys that that like like you said before that don't don't after each, each training session or after each fight you still you're not looking you're not happy like. Like I won, I like I uh, made a beautiful fight. You think what what was wrong in the fight? Yeah, same same, always, same same for me. Always like that, you know. I got many uh, message because what happened? But you are not smiling after your fight. You won the belt. You you are not happy. You don't, you don't smile, or you do some big KO. You won some good guy. You are always on bad mood. What happened? Mm. I say I'm not happy with my 
<laughs> it was the same thing with me. Uh, my pro I had the same problem. Before I went to the fight, I had big, big stress. Before the fight, I didn't believe in myself all the time. And at the moment when they get my hand up, my head was always down. And the first thing I, I thought, at last, at last, I finished this shit. Yeah. Like, thank God, know. you know? But, but now uh, I'm starting to do different things in my life. I started to, to work with a mental performance coach. I started to do meditation. I started to do, uh, uh, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, how do you say? Uh, exercises like, uh, Great, uh, I'm grateful. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to be grateful for everything that I have that that uh, is coming uh, to me yeah. in my life, even the problems. I'm grateful for the problems because they make us stronger and uh, make us move forward. Yeah, not, that's not what somewhere. I now also started doing. And after I'll that, write. you can you can see that after each fight, uh, like I'm not like this. I'm like, ah, I'm yeah. just fucking happy. Yeah. I done it. You know, I start also to appreciate everything. Well, where I am, what I have, to appreciate everything, you know, because when I'm, when you are looking to the world, you know, there are people, they, they are hungry, they don't have houses, they don't have nothing, but look, uh, we have a Man, really good. it's not, not so far from our home, it's war started. Yeah, yeah also, also, yeah. also. Uh, Do you meditate? No, I just always try to speak for myself and to write books, you know. To be calm, to stay. Like, right, right. Read, read or write? Uh, no, to uh, read. Look. I, uh, read, yes. Read, 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 read books. books. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Like, what's, what's motivating you to get more, to get more on the top, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and what about the, the, the inside? Like, you're praying, you're believing in something. What, what, what is making you. Uh, what is, what is motivating you like, from inside? You know, when uh, I try to go always to the church, uh, I find peace uh, peace in myself. Uh, I don't know, I just feel relaxed when I'm uh, in the church. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean it's, it's a big church or small church. Uh, for me, when it's the, some church, some small church, I'm also thankful for that. Uh, just go and sit there. I don't know, I have a feeling like uh, I just relax everything, just relaxing and uh, I'm, thank I'm just saying thank you for everything, you know. You're grateful. What I have uh, for my parents, for my family to stay in, that okay. healthy, happy, you know, just like that. I want to show them uh, the world, you know, I want to, uh, yeah, to travel. Yeah. So uh, I'm trying to do that now to make them happy, you know. Uh, we are with four, ch four children. They did a lot, you know. Now, uh, what I see uh, from the people, uh, just they just working and they don't have time for the children. They don't they don't educate their yeah. their children. Yeah. Now I'm thinking like, uh, shit, my father and mother they did it very good. Four children, they raised it very 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 good, you know, with education, with everything. We had bad days, good days, but we are always close together. It doesn't matter what happened with your life, with your family. It's your family. It always stay together, you know. It, it will never, never end. If you have the same blood. Yeah. If you are doing something wrong, okay, accept it. Uh, then come back, say sorry, that's it. That's the life. It's the fam family way. Yeah, you must move, move on. And some things, sometimes I'm seeing, seeing some pe other people, mm -hmm. they are uh, angry about each other and they stay in each other, angry about each other. Yeah. But I cannot uh, accept that, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, you, need, it's, you, you have to have balls sometimes just to come and say, man, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm the kind of that person, you know, if I did something wrong, I will come back, I will say, well, Sorry. I, after that, when I started to do uh, those like meditation practices and uh, yeah. breathing practices and everything to you know d go deep inside myself, yeah, I found now I found the courage to you know to just squeeze my ego and yeah. you know to do the things that I need to do, yeah. not that I wanted you know to show the world that fuck you no, like no, that's not you, you want yet. to be bad so fuck you no if even a person make me uh, something bad to me I say man. 
I understand. Peace. Yeah. It was like this. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. Live, live your life. This peace. Man. Yeah. Yeah. It's I don't already need... too much uh, around here. We yeah. just need good people around us, you know, for to be happy. Yeah. So. Like you said, uh, before you want to change the world, start from change yourself. yourself. Yeah. yeah change yourself, yourself first. After. Yeah. Take it the other one. Okay. Now. You can take time and think. What is, what is, uh, how you say? What does it mean to be Marat Grigorian for you for now? Not like from the childhood, but now Marat Grigorian. It's a big name in the world. What does it mean for you? Uh, you know, I never uh, see me like a big name. I'm sometimes a little bit always surprised that people know me. Can you imagine that? Some people, they, they come and take pictures. Sometimes I'm, uh, I'm thinking, oh, why they come to take pictures, you know? I'm just a fighter. I'm just a normal human, you know? I just work my ass off, you know? Just, uh, just a fighter that, that uh, kill uh, half of the to, to, top level top fighters level, in the yeah. world. Yeah. Just a simple man. Just, <laughs> just doing my business, man. <laughs> in everything. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that, that is the answer. I don't know. So, uh, what, what does, how does it feel to be Marat Grigorian, the, the, the person that, that people know and respect and, and love for just the, for the things that you do in your life? I can, yeah. Cannot imagine? Uh, no. You're just happy the, for, the, for, for your I'm life? I'm just happy. I'm just always pushing myself more. And you s still think that you 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 uh, go even further? Like uh, they always ask me, uh, what is your favorite fight? I always say that my my best fight and my favorite fight is in the future. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because I'm looking forward always for the fight. Yeah, good, good one. Uh, so, okay, then what are your goals now? Goals now, you know, I have many goals. Hmm. I have many goals. Let's talk about them. <laughs> uh, you know, some, some goals, uh, it's private, you know, because you must to make it true, come to come true, and after you can tell, the, tell them. Now the one go goal is for me to be the champion from this league, that's all. Less talak, only show the world what you can do, who you are, that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm, now, you, how many fights do, did you have in one championship? I don't know. I think three or four. Three or four. Yeah. Uh, when are you coming back so. to, to, to one championship to, to fight? Uh, I hope soon as possible because... Uh, Not talking nothing? Did, didn't, didn't say nothing <coughs> about your coming back? You know, I'm the number uh, two of the league. Uh, so maybe... Superbona is fighting against Chingiz Alasov for the belt. Yeah. I beat the number uh, three or number four from the league already. Uh, I think uh, I, was, I, I will fight again soon for the belt. So they are going to fight next week, 13 January. Yeah. And after that, uh, I will have more information. Yeah. I really hope. Yeah. I really hope. The only key is for me just losing good weight and uh, so to take healthy. my rest. That's all. And how do you cut weight? Uh, you know, before it was, it was very easy in glory, you know. Yeah. You can cut weight six, seven kilos and you come back. Yeah. yeah. But now uh, you must lose weight, like you must to be 72, 73 kilo. And after, after the fight, they're checking you again. If you are uh, two kilos more, uh, three kilos more, you are more than three kilos. If you are a 74, yeah. you get a warning. The second time they will cut your 50% uh, of your money, oh, something man. like that. Yeah, yeah. Before when I was fighting, yeah, they did uh, the hydration test and did they do did everything, but they, they put you on the scales after the fight, but they they didn't tell me nothing about the, the how many kilos you can have more. Before no, it was like that. New rules. I don't know what happened already. Did one year. Uh, when I started fighting there, it was really crazy, man. You get too much tired of the cutting weight. Cutting you are weight. training every two hours to cut weight. And after you must to get hydrated, you know, mm -hmm. when you are losing weight, 
you cannot uh, pee white. It's yeah. almost, it, you can't pee white, you know. Otherwise, you must drink fast water and it goes immediately to your, uh, yeah. So, so, okay, so how do you cut weight? Is it a secret or not? No, it's just losing weight. To when I, when I, I must be 72, 73 kilos. Are you just like uh, going there like a few kilos more and yeah. you just sweat, sweat, yeah. sweat it out? Yeah, but oh. uh, on, yeah. the only key is like that for own championship. Okay. Are you, don't you think that you like had to have to lose weight like before you know on your on your camp like yeah. like a, a calorie strict like a less less calorie strict yeah. diet or 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 just you know more. We are uh, trying new, now to do like that. You know to go really low, 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 and to to get used to 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 seventy kilo. You know yeah. to stay like that. And after, yeah, you know, I always start good with my food, but I ended very bad, you know, because I just love chocolates. Uh, oh, some, yeah, that's my problem. Fighters I problem. I don't I, have the problems. <laughs> I have problems with meat, with meat, and with really and, and now when I'm in Thailand with Thai food, I really just love Thai, yeah, Thai food. Just love Thai food, spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Now, for the ending, you can think, but. Uh, what you would like to say or wish to the audience, the people that are watching, uh, young people, maybe older people, what is your like, <coughs> message to them? You know, you must have always hope in life. You must never give up. You must always try to do more. Don't be lazy and just wish. No, it will not come by, by, by itself, you know, you must work for that, you know. All the people who are work, who have success, they are working like their ass off, you know, really, really badly. You don't know what happened in their life, what they lost in their, in their life. Just keep working on yourself. Everybody, everybody have, have, have problems, you know. You must, you must to, uh, learn how to handle it. What I also see, many people can, can handle it. Uh, stress or problems. They are really and then bro uh, very fast broken. Mm -hmm. Keep praying, never give hope. You know, you must have always hope. See the, see the vision, nobody sees the, sees the vision. But it's it very important that you, that you, 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 you see it, you know. Yeah, because, always, because it's your life. It's your life, you know. It was nice to having you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you too, wish you good. Look with your fight, upcoming fight. <sighs> And we will we'll wait uh, for the news from you and yeah. we really hope to see you soon thank the, you. the one championship belt yeah, on your uh, you. list. So guys, thank you for, for uh, uh, watching, thank you uh, for helping me to build a martial arts co community, uh, thank you for helping me to promote martial arts in the world and man, stay safe, be motivated. And see you at the top. Bye-bye. Sveiki, mėlė draugai. Tiesiog noriu pasinduoti progą ir pasakyti jums didžiulį ačiū už tai, kad jūs esate kartu. Už tai, kad jūs padėtėte man kurti kovos menų bendrominę Lietuvoje ir ne tik. Ir patingas ačiū yra tiems, kas palaiko mano kanalą Patreon'e. Nepamirškite, kad ir jūs galite prisidėti prie jų. Taip pat paremdami mano kontentą patreon.com. Ačiū Jums labai.